In another video I showed you how to change battery in a radio PIR. This is a different make of PIR but sometimes people have said after they have changed the battery in a PIR the alarm panel complains of a tamper fault. Previously in another video I showed you how to change the battery in a PIR. Some people have then said after I've changed the battery I still have a tamper fault. Allow me to show you with this PIR what the usual cause is. And yes, it's saying you have a tamper fault because it has a tamper fault. So we've undone the screw and let's take off the cover. Battery's behind here so we've changed the battery. Put the cover back on. Yep, all done. Marvels sorted. No it isn't. Because if you look carefully at this particular PIR, it happens to a lot of them. The spring here, I'll turn it around sideways so you can see, is bent. I bent it on purpose, but it can happen whereby if you're not very careful taking it out, you can bend it. And the worst thing is this one's not going to do it easily. Yes it is. No it isn't. The worst thing is if the spring actually falls off. Because then when you put the cover on there's nothing to press the switch in to say it has no tamper. You have to look for the spring. There is no way round it. The other thing on detectors is this particular one here has a piece of metal. What that does, that actually pushes in the tamper that is on the back of the unit, which is here. Your one, your detector may have a tamper in a different place, but it's very important. Because if you break this, usually what happens is the installation engineer will put a screw through there and a screw through there, or maybe just one through there, is that you take the detector down and unfortunately you break that bit, you've just written off your detector. Because the tamp can no longer be pressed by putting the unit back inside. If you do break the back of them, then unfortunately there really isn't a lot you can do. You can try and wedge them in, but what will happen is at 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever you've wedged it in with will fall out and set it off and give you a tamper fault. I'm sorry, but you must be very, very careful when you're changing a battery in the detector in respect of the tamper switches, be that front and back. Different makes and different models have a tamper switch configuration done differently, but the standard says they have to have a front and a back tamper switch. As always, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to help support the channel, please buy me a coffee. A subscription to the channel would be great as well. And as always, thanks for watching.